We're just 75 days away from the November presidential election. Things are heating up on the campaign trail. Both former President Donald Trump and Vice President Harris are seemingly focusing their efforts on swing states in our region, those North Carolina and Georgia. Our Peyton Furtado is live in studio now to break it all down. Peyton. Yeah, Mark, absolutely. We've seen some of these appearances in recent days, right? Donald Trump stop in Asheboro, North Carolina today. This after his stop in Asheville last week, Harris's stop in Raleigh and both campaigns recent stops in Georgia. While some states are red or blue, two in our region bleed purple. This thing is going to come down to seven states and three of those seven are North Carolina, Georgia and Pennsylvania, and they just happen to be the largest electoral prizes of those seven states. North Carolina and Georgia each bring 16 electoral votes to the table. I think it's going to be a constant rotation of Harris and Trump from now to the election. Trump narrowly won North Carolina last election. At yeah, 1.3 percentage points, so the smallest margin of any state that he won in the country. And Biden just barely pulled a win out of the peach state. The last one came down to just over 11,000 votes. And so this is a very competitive swing state. Why is that? Both are southern states, but Western Carolina University's Chris Cooper says North Carolina has been middle of the road for decades. And University of North Georgia's Nathan Price says Georgia's demographics have been changing. And so these are voters that maybe are conservative on economic issues like taxes, but we find that they're more progressive on issues like reproductive rights and um, same-sex marriage, things like that. Both states, according to Cooper, can expect appearances by both former President Trump and Vice President Harris, as well as an onslaught of ads, mailers, and surveys over the coming months. So if you live in either of those states, get ready for that. Cooper went on to say we could see more of former President Trump in North Carolina than Harris. That's because while Harris could conceivably win without North Carolina, Trump most likely will need the state to win the election. Sydney. Peyton, thank you. And remember, you can always stay up to date on Commitment 2024 news on WIFF4.com and the WIFF4 app.